Hey guys, it's Com B, and today's video we're going to be discussing studio functions. So if you haven't already heard, Rec Room just ran an update, and the way that we execute events from Rec Room Studio to our in-game Rec Room circuitry is completely changed. It's a very similar concept, but now there's a new chip called Studio Functions. And it allows for a much larger variety of data ty types that you could call upon and many new parameters. And basically, you could either give it an instruction or you could have this switching function, which is really helpful if you want to say, for example, change the material of an object that you have in game. It just makes it much smoother and less chips involved. So I'm just going to quickly go over a few brief examples and then use your creativity and build upon this knowledge and let me know what you create with Studio Functions. All right, so right now we are just in an empty Rec Room Studio map that I created. We're going to create an empty object and then we're going to also, within that object, we're going to create a particle system. So this is just a very simple particle system, honestly. I'm not going to play around with the particles. We'll just have that showing in our example. And let's just move that up. Okay, there we go. So we have a particle system. We're going to drag that over into our prefabs. And we're going to go to our inspector and open up this prefab. And we're going to add two components. One would be a collider. The other would be a Rec Room Studio object chip. And now we have this new category called Studio Functions. So what you want to do is, first of all, make sure your particle system is not set to play on awake, or else how are we going to know this works? And we're going to go ahead and hit this plus sign. And you'll see that we have input ports, output ports, and instructions. This is very similar to CB2, where you have your inputs, which is the data that feeds into the chip, your outputs that feed the data out of the chips, and then the instructions, which say basically what you want to do. So let's drag over our particle system into instructions. And when we call upon that, we're going to play the particle system. All right, so here we go. That's a very simple setup. Let's go ahead and test this out in studio. All right, so here we are in our room and let's go find our chip. We have this game object chip, which we didn't really name it very well, but that's okay. Let's type in studio and what you'll see is there's now this new chip called studio function. We're going to add that and we're going to configure that chip to our function. All right, there we go. Now you'll want to link your game object to that function and let's just hit a button so that when we hit the button, it will play that studio event that we just created. So obviously no particles. We press this button and we have particles. So it's, it's very simple. Just make sure you configure your studio function to whatever you named your instruction in studio and make sure to link up your game object to what you want to execute. All right, so now we're back in studio. Let's go back into our game object tab and we're going to create a new function. So let's hit that plus sign. And we're going to want to again, drag over the particle system. And this time, if you click on these three dots over here, we're going to change this to a switch. So every time we hit a different integer value, we're going to want to change the color of the particles. So Next, you'll notice that there's this new box that appears called switch. Let's hit new parameter, integer, and basically this is saying we're going to have an input port 
that every time we change the number, it's going to change the case of whatever material we're calling on. All right, so now let's call upon a method. We're going to drag our particle system in, and we're going to change the particle system renderer, go to material, and hit set. So this will create different color materials for each number case that we set. Let's go ahead and set up actually a few materials. We'll do green. We'll do a red one. And we'll also do a blue material. All right, so we have our three materials. Let's go back to our game object. And what do we want our default case to be? Let's start as a red material. All right, so now what you wanna do is hit the cases and you'll wanna add a few cases. So in our case, we'll want three cases. So we have case zero, case one, and case two. Each of those cases, again, we're gonna drag over our particle system and change the particle system renderer, material, set, <laughs> if I could click it all correctly. There we go. And we'll do that for each of these. And one last one. So case zero, we're going to drag across our red material Case two will be green and case three will be blue. All right, so now we have this all set up. It's gonna start as a red particle system and then it's going to change depending on which case number that we're gonna input. So that should all be set up now. Let's go ahead, exit out. I'll hit remake object board and let's go over to studio. And one last thing before we go back into our local play is I just renamed these functions because before it just said game object function and that wasn't really accurate. So we called the first one switch color and the second is play particle. And we just renamed our game object to particles. So now that we've done all that, let's go ahead and play locally. All right, so we are back in our studio room and I did not save the button, so let's go ahead and add that back. We're gonna actually add two buttons. One will be for switching the color, the other will be for playing the particles. And we're gonna also add two studio function chips. There we go. Let's configure those chips. The first one is going to be the switch color particles, and the second one will be play particles. Now, what you'll notice is the switch color, which was our switch function now has this integer port that we set up in on our computer and we could change the number and that will change the color of the particles. Let's link up our game object and when we hit play we'll want to switch a color and when we hit the second button we'll want to actually play the particle. So let's turn the color to red and I hit play we now have red particles. If I change the switch to one and hit this button, we have green particles. And if I change it to two, we should have blue particles. There we go. So pretty simple setup, but again, this is just to give you a quick example of how to set up the studio functions. All right, so I hope this video helped you guys out. If you haven't yet already, please make sure to hit that big red subscribe button like the video and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys create with the studio functions. It should be now super easy to change weapon skins, to play and track your studio objects and their positions. There's so much you could do. This is just the tip of the iceberg, but hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.